The History of Frida Kahlo and Most Important Art In this video we will delve into the fascinating life and work of one of the most iconic artists of the 20th century, Frida Kahlo. From her beginnings as a painter to her fight for gender equality and the defense of Mexico's cultural roots, Frida Kahlo's story is one of perseverance, pain and, above all, passion for art. On this tour, we will discover her most important works and how each of them reflects her life and her emotions, from her self-portraits to her representations of Mexican culture and nature. Join us to get to know Frida Kahlo in depth, and delve into the world of an artist who continues to inspire and move entire generations. Frida Kahlo Frida Kahlo is one of the most iconic and recognized artists of the 20th century, known for her surreal art style and her revolutionary spirit. Born in Coyacan, Mexico, in 1907, Kahlo began her artistic career in the 1920s after suffering a serious accident that left her bedridden for several months. Throughout her life, Kahlo produced a large number of paintings and drawings, many of which depict her personal and political life. Her work is known for its use of vibrant color and her unique style that blends elements of Mexican folk art and surreal art. Kahlo's personal life was as influential on her work as her artistic career. She married the famous Mexican muralist Diego Rivera in 1929, and the couple had a tumultuous relationship that lasted her entire life. Kahlo also had many relationships with men and women throughout her life, and her personal experiences are often reflected in her work. During her lifetime, Kahlo suffered numerous illnesses and diseases, including polio, a severe spinal cord injury, and an amputated leg. Despite her failing health, Kahlo continued to work until her death in 1954, aged 47. Despite the fact that her work was largely ignored for much of her life, Kahlo has become an important figure in popular culture and is considered one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. Her work has been the subject of numerous exhibitions around the world, and her image has become a symbol of resistance and the fight for equality. In recent years, Kahlo's legacy has been the subject of controversy, as some critics have questioned her cultural appropriation and her representation of Mexican culture. However, her work remains an important testimony of her life and the struggle of women artists to be recognized in a world dominated by men. In short, Frida Kahlo is a legendary artist who has left a lasting impact on the world of art and culture. Her personal and political life, as well as her unique and vibrant style, make her an unforgettable figure in art history. Viva la Vida Viva la Vida is an iconic artwork by Mexican artist Frida Kahlo, which was created in 1954, shortly before her death. The oil painting on canvas is small in size, with dimensions of 30 cm by 40 cm, and represents a vibrant and exciting composition that reflects the intense personality of the artist. The work is made up of a series of objects arranged in a very singular way. In the center of the image, there is a large watermelon split in two, with a fresh and juicy fruit exposed inside. Around it, there are other objects arranged in a whimsical way, a butterfly, a flower, a cactus and a small circular mirror. At first glance, the work appears to be a celebration of life, represented by the freshness and vitality of the watermelon and the beauty of the other objects. But, as with many of Kahlo's works, there is a deeper subtext that reveals itself the closer you look. In particular, the use of watermelon can be interpreted as a reference to Kahlo's infertility and her struggle with motherhood. The halved fruit can symbolize loss or separation, while the fact that fresh, juicy fruit is displayed inside can be an expression of hope or rebirth. The cactus and the butterfly also have a symbolic charge. A plant that requires little care and is resistant to extreme conditions, the cactus may be a reference to Kahlo's strength and perseverance despite her many hardships and health challenges. The butterfly, for its part, 
is a common symbol of transformation and metamorphosis, which can be related to the idea of rebirth or change. The small mirror at the bottom of the work can also be significant. In other Kala works, the mirror is often used to represent self-reflection and self-examination, as well as to explore the artist's relationship with herself and her own identity. In Viva la Vida, the mirror may be an allusion to introspection and self-knowledge, and may relate to the idea that life is a continuous process of self-discovery and growth. Overall, Viva la Vida is a deeply moving and symbolic work that reflects the complexity and richness of life and the human experience. Through her depiction of everyday objects, Kahlo captures a sense of vitality and energy that is both joyful and contemplative. And at the same time, his use of symbols and subtle metaphors invites the viewer to explore the deeper themes of life, such as death, loss, fertility and change. Like many of Kahlo's works, Viva la Vida is a work of art that is not only beautiful and exciting, but also rich in meaning and depth. Self-Portrait with a Necklace of Thorns and a Hummingbird Self-Portrait with a Necklace of Thorns and a Hummingbird is one of the most iconic works by the Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. Painted in 1940, the work is a self-portrait in which Frida represents herself with a necklace of thorns and a hummingbird perched on her shoulder. The painting is known for its symbolic complexity and its ability to convey the emotional intensity that characterized Frida's life and work. First of all, the necklace of thorns is a clear symbol of pain and suffering. It is a reference to the physical suffering that Frida experienced throughout her life, due to the multiple injuries and illnesses that affected her. The necklace appears tight around her neck, suggesting the feeling of oppression the artist felt on her own skin. The hummingbird, on the other hand, is a symbol of freedom and lightness. It rests gently on Frida's shoulder, as if to remind her that even though she is trapped in a world of pain and suffering, there is still beauty and joy in her life. This image is especially poignant given that Frida was in a serious bus accident when she was young that left her with permanent injuries to her spine, legs and pelvis. The use of the self-portrait is also significant. Frida Kahlo often took self-portraits, and in each of her works, she shows herself with a sincerity and vulnerability that is rare in the art world. In self-portrait with a collar of thorns and a hummingbird, her gaze fixed on the viewer seems to challenge him to face the reality of her pain. Her dark hair pulled back into a tight bun, and her thick, knitted eyebrows convey a sense of determination and strength. The color palette is also important. The dark green background seems to evoke a sense of mystery and danger, while Frida's necklace of thorns and brown skin contrast with the background and highlight the pain and oppression the artist felt throughout her life. However, the presence of the hummingbird and the golden light reflecting off her skin suggest that there is hope and beauty amid the darkness. In short, Self-Portrait with a Collar of Thorns and Hummingbird is a masterpiece that encapsulates the emotional and symbolic complexity of Frida Kahlo's life and work. The work is a testament to the artist's strength and resilience, as well as her ability to find beauty and meaning in the midst of pain and oppression. It is a work of art that is still as powerful today as it was when it was created over 80 years ago. The Two Fridas The artwork, The Two Fridas, is one of the most iconic paintings by the famous Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. The work, created in 1939, represents two Fridas sitting next to each other, both dressed in typical costumes of Mexican culture. The Frida on the left wears a white and red dress, while the Frida on the right wears a blue and gold dress. The two Fridas hold each other's hands and each has her heart exposed, with an artery connecting the two hearts. The artwork, The Two Fridas, is one of Kahlo's most personal. The painting is a self-portrait, representing the duality in her own life. The Frida on the left is the traditional Frida, the one that was accepted by the Mexican society of the time, 
with her white and red dress that represents the indigenous culture of Mexico. The Frida on the right, dressed in a blue and gold dress, is the modern Frida, rejecting tradition and having been influenced by European culture. The two Fridas also represent the two sides of Kahlo's own personality. The Frida on the left, with her heart intact, represents the vulnerable and emotional side of the artist, while the Frida on the right, with her broken and bleeding heart, represents the strong and courageous side of Kahlo, who faces the her own inner demons. In addition to its personal meaning, the two Fridas also has a political and social message, the painting was created during a time of great upheaval in Mexico, when the country was in the midst of a political and cultural revolution. Kahlo used her work to challenge the cultural and social norms of the time, and to fight for women's equality and freedom. In short, The Two Fridas is a stunning and deeply personal work of art by Frida Kahlo. The painting depicts the duality in her own life and personality, as well as the fight for women's equality and freedom in a time of political and cultural turmoil in Mexico. The work remains one of the most iconic and significant in the history of Mexican art and continues to inspire people around the world today. The Broken Column The Broken Column is one of the most iconic works of the Mexican painter Frida Kahlo. This artwork, which was created in 1944, is a self-portrait in which Kahlo depicts herself with a fractured spine, broken in three places and supported by a type of orthopedic corset. The Broken Column is a very personal and intimate work that reflects the life of Frida Kahlo and constant physical suffering. The Mexican painter suffered a serious bus accident in her youth, which left her with a broken spine and a series of serious injuries throughout her body. From then on, she had to deal with chronic pain and her physical limitations for the rest of her life. In the broken column, Kahlo shows her broken and wounded body in a very stark and direct way. The figure of the artist stands and gazes at the viewer as her exposed, fractured spine extends from her neck to her pelvis. The details of the work, such as the clamps and the screws that hold the spine together, make the painting appear almost sculptural. The Broken Column is also a highly symbolic work, as it represents not only Kahlo's physical pain, but her emotional and psychological pain as well. Throughout her life, Frida Kahlo suffered a series of personal tragedies, including the infidelity of her husband, the famous muralist Diego Rivera, and the loss of several pregnancies. The work of art thus becomes an exploration of the fragility and strength of the human spirit, as well as the fight against pain and adversity. Regarding the technique used in the broken column, Frida Kahlo employs a vibrant and saturated color palette, with strong contrasts between the intense red of the spine and the blue-green background. In addition, Ella Kahlo uses a very detailed and precise painting style, which resembles the technique of oil painting. In conclusion, the Broken Column is a powerful and moving work of art that shows the physical and emotional suffering of Frida Kahlo. The work is a testament to the artist's struggle against pain and adversity, and her message continues to resonate strongly today. Kahlo's detailed and precise technique, as well as her use of symbology, make the Broken Column a masterpiece of modern art and a milestone in the career of this legendary Mexican artist.